Our next speaker is Danae Gilbert. Okay, so the question is, uh, would the world be better without religion? So I think the first thing we need to do is define the word better. What do we mean by better world? Obviously the st statement implies that we all agree that we live in a world that is not perfect. So how do we want it to be better? Ethically? Economically? Socially? Politically? Or even spiritually, if you believe in such a thing? Um, the problem with asking this question is that you can't get rid of religion. Human beings instinctively make sense of the world and want to find meaning in life. Um, religion comes in because it's an explanation for why the world is like it is. So as a Christian, I believe that we do live in a fallen world which isn't perfect. Um, so of course we want to make it better. We pray your will be done on earth as it is in heaven because we want earth to be more heaven-like. Jesus, I believe, illustrated for us how we should live and how we will live in heaven. So we want to be like that already now. This would mean that Christians should be Christ-like, which again means that you should feed the hungry, give to the poor, love everyone, and see the potential in people and live selflessly. These are all, I think we can agree, good attributes, which I strongly believe that if all of us followed it, the world would be a much better place. Believing that Jesus set an example and that there's a hope that one day the world will be like this is a motivation for trying to build a better place. Without people striving to live like this, the world would probably be in a far worse state. Um, getting rid of religion, again, I think, would actually be impossible. It's a form of expressing what you believe and what you are devoted to. To attempt to abolish it would be to try to limit freedom. Dictators in countries have tried to done this, do this before. And this persecution has always made religion stronger, usually. And trying to ban people from religion would be enslaving people because you think it's for the better. Ultimately, it would, be to, uh, it would lead people to being less efficient as they do not believe that there's a purpose for what they are doing. And a few might even commit suicide or go into depression. Religion embodies freedom of expression and often ties in deeply with our culture. Would we have um, Christmas, Easter, Hanukkah or Ramadan if it wasn't for religion? All these festivals bring people together and form unity. Personally, I grew up in the northeast of China with a lot of Muslim friends. Every year we were invited to celebrate Qurban, which is where they slaughter a lamb um, and I would call it an Islam version of the Jewish, pa Jewish Passover, but you can ask one of your Muslim friends for a better explanation. Um, and they would invite us, who are foreigners in their country, into their home to eat and be with them. And it was a great way of getting to know them and their families better. So religion can bring people together. I don't have to believe in Qurban for it not to be a great way of getting to know other people. And even more so, in Thailand, um, there's a water festival called Songkran, um, which we celebrated in Chiang Mai, where I also lived for two years. The whole city would be out on the streets, splashing water at each other. And it was always a highlight and a lot of fun. And it stemmed from elders pouring a small cup of water on their children as a symbol of blessing on their future. And today it still serves as a unifying festival. And the same goes for our Christmas. Most people celebrate that with their families. I'm not saying that there aren't other ways of doing this, like birthdays or whatever occasion you'd like to make, but religion is one reason. Um, and anthropologi uh, anthropologists have argued that festivals are incredibly important for keeping stability in society. As a Christian, I believe in a relational and loving God, a God that created people so that he could spend time and be with them and lavish gifts upon them. As most of you all know, you cannot force anyone to love you. Thus, humans have free will, as we call it. Uh, we could choose whether to love God or not. Um, and obviously, because God created his, made us, he wants all of his creation to be with him. So for me, as a Christian, it is impossible to love God and hate people. If you truly love God, then you will love people. And I don't see how that could be anything other than good for the world.